Okay, the A is the amount in the account after a certain amount of time. Okay, P is your principal, not Mrs. Hodges. <laughs> I think, is that actually the principal that's spelled L-E? I think it may be principal. There we go. Mrs. Hodges is your principal. R is the rate. Now, here's where a lot of people make a mistake. It must be expressed as a decimal. Okay, you have to move the decimal point. You have to express that percent as a decimal. Um, N is the number of times per year. And T is the number of years. So that one's a little complicated. It's got a bunch of pieces. <clears throat> the continuously compounded interest is a lot simpler. Um, everything means the same thing except you have a base of E, which is the number on the calculator. Okay, um, So I'm not going to label that one because they're all the same. You just don't have as many pieces. Now the, re the way I remember the other one is PERT. Um, I don't know how many of you spend much time on the shampoo aisle, but there's a shampoo brand called PERT. <laughs> Fun fact of the day. Number two. No, it is not what I have used it in the past. I do not currently use it. Wait, Say all what again? There's a shampoo brand perk. That's how I remember the huh? Perks. Yes. Perks. Perks is the compounded continuously interest formula, and that's how I remember it. P E to the R T perk. To shampoo brand. And it's just kind of funny to say. Okay, so let's use these one lists. Let's say, now I wouldn't write this out in words, guys. Just write down what the numbers, what numbers represent what variables, okay? You invest $12,000. That is your principal. Okay, that is P. How much you invest is your principal. At an annual rate of 3%, that needs to be expressed as a decimal, 0 0.03. That is R. Find the balance after five years, that's T, when the interest is compounded quarterly, that means N equals four. Quarterly is four times per year. So when we set up our equation, that's going to be A equals the principal times one plus the rate, 0 0.03 over four, raised to the 4 times 5. Now, this should be very simple, but somebody screws it up inevitably because they refuse to pay attention and use parentheses as they should. All right? So, <clears throat> I'm going to give you a second to write that down, and then I want you to watch me type this into the calculator before you start typing it into the calculator. So we've got 12,000. We need parentheses there where there are parentheses on your paper. 1 plus 0 0.03 over 4. You do not need any extra parentheses in there because your calculator follows the order of operations. So within those parentheses, it's going to divide 0 0.03 by 4 first, and then it's going to add it to 1. That's what we want it to do. It's not 1.03 divided by 4. It's 0 .03 by 4, add that to 1. Very different results. Okay? Um, use the caret key, which is right under your clear key for your exponent. Either multiply out 4 times 5, come on, y'all can do that, 20, or it, sometimes they're not always that nice, all right? 
If they're not, and you're going to type it in, then you must put that in parentheses. Because if you don't, or if operation says parentheses exponents, what it's going to do is it's going to raise that expression to the power. <coughs> Then it's going to multiply by 12,000 and multiply by 5. We don't want to multiply by 5. We want the 5 to be in the exponent. So you must put parentheses around it up there, or you will not get the right answer. Okay? This is the answer that you should get. Okay? If it's compounded quarterly, you should get $13,934.21. This is money, so you need to round it to the nearest hundredth. And I've done forgotten what it is. 13,934. 934, I don't know why I wrote two. 934 and 21 cents. Okay? Now, the nice thing is, if nothing changes except for that number, then all you have to go do is press second enter. You don't have to type everything in again, just change your four. You'll have to press the insert button so you don't overwrite anything. 12 times 5, which hopefully you know is 60, okay? So really, you don't make a whole lot much more if it's compounded 8 more times every year. $5. They could, I mean, I'm all about $5. I love coupon. Okay, huh? Uh, do you have parentheses in the right spot? Okay. All right, and then finally, if it's compounded continuously, it's P the principal times E to the RT. Not as many pieces there. And we make uh, $13,942.01. So that makes you a little bit more. Other compound. All right. So, yes, Carter. 